It's Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies by improving their quality of life, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions to hospitals and intensive care units to save money and resources whilst providing quality care. In last week's blog, I shared the three most dangerous trends facing long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies. You can check out last week's blog by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's blog, I want to share what to do if there are no or few perceived alternatives for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies. Whenever intensive care units are dealing with long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, one thing has always stood out to me. Intensive care units, as well as long-term acute care facilities, are limiting their thinking and they believe the only way to look after long-term ventilated adults and children is in intensive care or in a long-term acute care facility. This limited thinking leaves few or no perceived alternatives for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies. Current limiting intensive care as well as long-term acute care paradigms still only suggests that a critically ill patient will leave intensive care to recover and go to a hospital ward, including long-term acute care, or to leave intensive care after death has occurred and after they have passed away. Most intensive care units are still 20 years behind in their thinking and their paradigms compared to other first world countries like, for example, Germany, where intensive care at home services are widely accepted and widely provided. So this provides a genuine alternative to leave intensive care and go home instead of unnecessarily spending many weeks or many months sometimes even years in intensive care or in long-term acute care. And specialized and accredited service like intensive care at home are key to make a seamless transition from intensive care or long-term acute care to home possible. And that's what we do here at Intensive Care at Home with our specialization. We provide the care required for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and we enable them to leave intensive care or long-term acute care while still being ventilated with tracheostomies. This dramatically improves the quality of life and in some instances also the quality of end of life for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and of course their families as well. This also reduces the massive costs for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies who have the second highest ranking costs attached to their stay in intensive care only after that insertion. Most long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies fall into the category of DRGs AO6A and AO6B. And in Australia, for example, they, it has been identified that the costs for those DRGs are the second highest ranking for all costs in Australia. And it's similar in other first world countries like the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom. But more importantly, the paradigm shift that needs to occur besides the massive cost implications when looking after long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies in intensive care or long-term acute care are that we don't do long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and their families any favor by unnecessarily keeping them in intensive care or long-term acute care for longer than necessary. Our services, intensive care at home, as well as studies and research have shown that once a long-term ventilated child, for example, with tracheostomy is medically stable and of inotropes or vasopressors, and the only reason they stay in intensive care is their ventilator dependency, we have certainly shown that they can safely be looked after at home. We've also published some research about that. 
and you can check out that research if you click below if you click on the link below this video in the written version of this blog therefore the argument that long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies can't or shouldn't be looked after at home doesn't count and most intensive care units worldwide really need to evaluate their paradigms and their thinking again other countries such as germany austria as well as switzerland and france have been successfully providing intensive home care for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies as a genuine alternative to a long-term stay in intensive care for now over 20 years the health industry in germany in particular intensive care units and health funding agencies have realized a long time ago that expenses for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies in intensive care are no longer sustainable and expenses for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies are sustainable in a home care environment with the right support structure and the right mindset and more importantly patients and their families improve their quality of life in their own home and intensive care units benefit by having more resources staff and beds available patients and their families have and should always have a choice if they don't want to stay in intensive care or in long-term acute care and want a genuine alternative that exists to a long-term stay in intensive care by going home with a specialized service like intensive care at home considering all of these facts there is a lot of evidence that long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies should be going home whenever possible and not stay in intensive care for longer than necessary and block an expensive scarce and in-demand intensive care bed. what are your thoughts you think that long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies and their families have few or no perceived options but to stay in icu or long-term acute care for many weeks sometimes many months leave your comments on the blog we're also currently hiring enthusiastic and experienced intensive care nurses with critical care certificate for ventilated melbourne clients we would also like to hear from you if you have a minimum of two years pediatric icu experience as we have opportunities there as well for more information, check out our career section or contact me on one of the phone numbers displayed on the top of the website. We are also a TAC and DVA approved community service provider in Australia. Thank you for tuning into this week's blog. This is Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home and I see you again next week in another update.